The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me Jetty and we're back for our third episode. Now, this one's going to be a big episode. There's a lot to do, a lot to plan, a lot to think about. But first, we have a whole bunch of labs that are doing nothing. So I need to give them a whole bunch of things to do. At the same time, we're going to add a small buffer box on both sides. Uh, one to collect the red science, one to collect the blue science. So we want in, out, out. And same story, in first, out, out. That way they can definitely empty fast so they can fill. And with that done, uh, we're going to go through research. So research, there is a bunch of research we need to do. Uh, first off, I need to turn that one back on. Uh, we're going to do that one. 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 Uh, we're going to do that one. Yeah, th there's actually, actually, hang on, cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, we've just done oil. We've just done oil. We've, we've done most of the American district. I need to go back and, you know, tidy it up a little bit. So, that's oil. That's in the oil branch. Uh, polymer chemical engineering. I'm gonna go with oil. Uh, possibly oil. Uh, probably not oil as it's an assembly machine. Uh... That's yellow science, that's yellow science, that's actually unlocking yellow science. Uh, hydrogen fuel rod, sounds good, we've got lots of hydrogen. Uh, thrusters, yep, yeah, they might make me go faster, I don't know. Uh, we're going to get the levitation technology, because again, that makes it sound like we can float. Uh, super magnetic field generator, sure. And that's it, that's all the research we can fit. Now, I have a lot of research too. I have uh, everything up here. And everything we've queued down here, along with upgrades. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I don't think. The only one is the drive engine, which unlocks the mecha sail, which means we can go to space, which is going to be required for the next science pack. Actually, do I have anything down here as well? Uh, oh, yeah, we can get some more vertical construction. And that's absolutely it. Okay. So there's one, two upgrades here we can do. One for the mech and one for uh, more vertical construction, which would definitely wouldn't hurt. Along with a whole bunch of technology here. So we're going to start the episode by obviously setting up our little buffers. As long as they're adding fast and they're removing, I can... 50-50, yeah, half a dozen the other. Uh, I can add some more labs on. There's our first research. Which also means um, I'm going to put in one hell of a cut whilst we get all this unlocked. Because there are a lot of things to unlock, like a lot of things. So, with that said, I'm going to go about prep work. Because the next research, the yellow one, actually requires us to go off planet. Because, actually, let's bring up the tech tree really quickly. Structural matrix, if we hover the, over that, it requires di diamonds and high strength crystals. High strength crystals, if we hover over that, we can see it requires, well, we can't really see. Uh, no, 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 there we go. Uh, a precise portion of organic crystals to titanium. Titanium means uh, we have no titanium ore. It means we need to visit our neighboring planet. Oh, not even our neighboring planet. The far away planet, the far away planet to go get some titanium. So yeah, I've got some prep work to do. With that said, um, like I said, I'm gonna put in some cuts, uh, put in a cut. We'll let the research peter out and I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome back. So, a uh, couple of things have happened whilst you guys have been uh, uh, going through flashes of all the tech that we've unlocked. So, 
First things first is I've been uh, slowly strip mining the world of all natural resources, uh, mainly waiting for tech to complete. At the same time, we have set up a couple of uh, unique assemblers, uh, which needs another box. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so right here I have um, three magical smelters, one magical assembler. Um, when you harvest the raw, well, I don't really have any to show you. Uh, the raw trees and the raw little rocks that we find on the ground. I've done a really good job of clearing up all the rocks. There's one, there's one, all the way over there. Uh, once you clear up all those and you harvest them, you do get a couple of raw resources. So you get wood and you get leaves. Now, most people burn those items. What you can do is you can turn them into the lovely organic crystals, which you're going to need for science later on. Now, this recipe is a horrible recipe. It's really just a way of... That was the research we were waiting for. It's really just a, a way of dealing with... Um, um, dealing with recycling any plant matter and any rocks. Oh, actually, there's some rocks here. See? All these little ones. We'll be cleaning these up. Two at a time. Okay. Uh, the other thing uh, I have set up is... We have been finding titanium in the rocks we've been cleaning up. So I've been dumping my titanium ore into one of these chests. There we go. Now we have the power to smelt titanium. And we just have one poor smelter taking out of the box any titanium. Any titanium ore pushing the titanium back into the boxes. Because they're all stacked up. It's like one giant shared box. So items can go in and out of any box. Which just suits me perfectly. On top of that, all the stone that we're finding. Which is probably in the top box. Yep. Yeah, all the stone that we're finding that I really have no use for, I just started turning to silicon. Because there is a recipe here which turns 10 stone into 1 silicon. Now it's not a terribly good recipe, but it is a recipe. Oh, research. Uh, we want to do that research. That's our last red and, uh, red and blue research, which will unlock our yellow research, which is what we need to play with, hopefully, this episode. So, um, yeah, I've been dumping the stone here to turn it into silicon. To then, once the silicon arrives in here, this smelter takes it out and actually smelts it. And at the same time, can we upgrade you and you and you? Oop, nope, can't upgrade that one. Okay, couple of other things that happen. Um, so I have, we're still trying to get rid of this copper patch slowly. Uh, this iron patch is almost dead, which is good because it's sort of in our way. On top of that, I've expanded this out a little bit. So we now have, I think we had motors last time. Maybe we've added motors. Uh, on top of that, I've added Sorters Mark IIs, which are just faster than Sorter Mark Ones. Um, that's pretty much all they come down to. Can we get a output and we'll disconnect that? Okay, that gives me somewhere to recycle my Sorters into the next level. On top of that, we have some Belt Mark IIs. Uh, the Belt Mark IIs are running off this little tiny build here. That They're super slow. They're going to take forever. But that's perfectly fine. We're, we're not in any rush. Uh, the idea of our, our little workshop is it will get there eventually in good time. Can I have a output here? And we'll just disconnect that belt. That way it's physically going through there. And we'll cap that to something. That way I can take my Mark 1 belt and dump it in there to upcycle it. Um, so yeah, we've got that done. On top of that, if we grab some fuel on the way past. On top of that, oil got expanded. Uh, oil got tinkered with. We now have a decent amount of light oil right here. On top of that, we have plenty of hydrogen. Um, our actual... Um, what's keeping, what's holding up our science at the moment is actually the labs. If I stacked more labs, if I had more stacking research, we could make the labs go faster. Uh, and then the excess hydrogen, before we just burn it off, I'm actually storing it because we actually have another purpose for it. Uh, and we see we've got this lovely hydrogen line that comes all the way out here to meet our lovely friends, the production. The Fractionator. So the Fractionator, uh, taking advantage of the high vapor pressure ratio of liquid hydrogen and liquid deuterium at a certain temperature. Deuterium is fractionated from liquid hydrogen with a certain separation efficiency. Use a conveyor belt to introduce hydrogen on one side. After the fract fract fractional distillation, export from the other side and export deuterium from the front port. Any of that makes sense? Cool. So we have these lovely machines here, and I've set up a small loop. And what this is going to do is it's going to take in hydrogen 
and has a 1% chance. That's all it is. It's a 1% chance to spit out deuterium. Now, the faster the belt is, the faster material gets fed into the system and through the system and back out of the system, um, the more often you have a probability chance of getting out some deuterium. But as you can see, we've already got a little bit. Uh, three, four, four, five, five massive amounts. And as you can see, the hydrogen is just going to hopefully... Why for you not work? Why for you not work? Oh, half the belt's going the wrong direction. Good job, JD. Yeah. Half the belt's going one direction, half the belt's going the other. That's okay. We can, we can go through the process of fixing this ever so slowly. Uh, go away. Uh, I want to remove that belt, and that belt, and that belt. Uh, uh, come on, that belt, and that belt, alright, here we go, logistics, come on, yeah, I know, into there, into there, into there, into there, into there, into there, out a couple of tiles, down here, into there, into there, into there, into there, into there, and into there, alright, come on bots, I need to get this end up. So the idea is our hydrogen is going to flow through this system in a lovely loop, uh, pass through each one of these fractionators on this bottom line, and then up to the top line, pass through each one of these fractionators, and then finally come out and loop back in upon itself. And because this is a straight through belt with a side load, the, uh, the, the hydrogen that's already on the belt will have preference, and it should pass straight out, straight through, and stop this belt for just half a second. There we go, beautiful. And then the point of this belt is to just fill in the gaps. So, that's pretty much our deuterium setup. Now, this is not a good end game solution. This is a temporary solution. A temporary solution right near our North Pole because it's a very little building, and consequently you can pack them in nice and tight near a North Pole or something. It's, it's basically useless space otherwise. On top of that, remember those organic crystals we mentioned before? Well, this research requires high strength crystals, which are these ones, which require those organic crystals. The organic crystals have two recipes. One is plastic, light oil, and water, and the other one is the trees, the, 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 the leaves, and the water. We're doing the trees, the leaves, and the water, but that is far from a sustainable automated production. Uh, over here, we have a temporary, because I'm willing to bet everything here is temporary and everything will get removed in good time, a temporary build to start making organic crystals, which is just light oil from the plastic straight through into this build. Uh, on top of that, we're taking plastic machines and dumping the plastic into a, a storage. On top of that, we've got a little splitter here that's all splitting it in four different directions. Uh, one for this side, one for this side, and one for its own internal buffer. With that said, uh, if I put that there and add in a couple of them with a power pole, we can call that build done. Now, I think it all runs. I think it all runs. Like, none of the machines are complaining, uh, and they have an incredibly long crafting time of six seconds. So that should be good enough, should enough, uh, basically to get some materials up and running. Now, the last thing that we need to go play with, which we just unlocked one of the required techs, is Super Matrix. Okay, that's the actual research we need the very next science pack. So if we come in here, we can see we need diamond. Diamond comes from uh, the graphite, which comes from coal. Easy, done, nice and simple. The other one is the titanium crystal, which comes from the organic crystal, which we're doing, that's fine. And titanium. Titanium comes from titanium ore. Titanium ore is not on this planet. Uh, titanium ore is, if we remember, over here. So uh, that's what we need to go do next. We need to go get a whole bunch of titanium, which means I need to travel to another planet, which means I need to do some prep work. So, prep work wise, we're going to fill up our inventory. We're going to definitely double check the tech tree, see if there's anything I missed. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, upgrades. Nope, 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 
nope, nope, nope, nope, uh, nope, nope. Sure, we can have another uh, another layer of labs on top. Nope, uh, nope, 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 and nope. Okay, so we have one research we could possibly do. Apart from that, everything can just sit there and back up. So we're going to new planet. There's a couple of things I'm going to need. One, I'm going to need not not silicon in my inventory. Uh, glass. Probably not. We're just going to delete the glass. It's not worth trying to find. Ah, oh, there's a box of glass right there. Of course there is. Uh, I do want some foundations. That's another thing we set up quietly in the corner. We set up a little machine to make foundations because they stack in a thousand at a time. I have some carbon nanotube, which I believe was given to me with the research. So we're just going to dump that in my magical boxes of special stuff. Uh, we're going to need belts. Uh, a lot of belts, potentially. Uh, storage boxes. I would like brick. Give me. Actually, big storage boxes. That's even better. Can I just get ten at a time, please? Uh, uh, it's brick. Okay, you need to have three slots, and you need to have three slots as well. And we'll just. We'll go over there and read it straight out of smelters. It seems like a better way of doing things. Uh, you don't have an output. You probably are not working terribly well. Cool. It's fine. I need a hundred. Uh, storage. Four boxes. Okay, still four boxes. It's probably a steel problem then. Which again is... We have a little st temporary steel build. Uh, can I get through, please? Alright, ten boxes. Uh, all the excess brick can go in there. All the excess steel can go in there. Um, what else are we going to need? We're going to need miners. A lot of miners. Uh, we need iron for more miners. Iron we can go grab out of the smelter. And... Smelter, all this needs a, 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 a upgrade and then some. Uh, okay, that's another 10, another 20. Uh, another 10, yep. All the smelter, uh, all the, the miners, we're going to want some smelters, which I would have loved to automate, but um, I can't get my brick line through because that copper is still in the way. Uh, give me back the brick. We're going to have... Okay, one, so I have ten. Then we're going to do eleven. I think they're stacking twenty. So, iron... Iron it must be. Nope. Uh, magnetic coils. We'll get there in the end. Yes. Okay. That's a whole heap of miners. Uh, we're going to need wind turbines, so we have power at the other end. Uh, sorters. I have 100 of each. Let's just dump our tier 1 sorters in here and pretend we don't need them. And then I have a couple of the wireless power towers so we can recharge our cells potentially. Uh, I have an, uh, maybe enough fuel. I have some plastic. Do we need plastic? Can I burn plastic? No. Alright, we're just going to throw out the plastic. Alright, we'll grab more wind turbines because extra power never hurt anybody. Uh, oh, I did automate miners. Well, there you go. Okay. Uh, you're doing smelters, smelter stack, and more than that. Okay. In that case, can I get another 10, please? Like that. Alright, that's probably, if I just fill up my inventory on belts and a bit of extra fuel, there we go. That is definitely the last research. Uh, there is no more. Uh, we'll grab that one, and that one, and that one, and... Like, if, if you're going to go to another planet, you might as well make sure your inventory is as full as possible. Um, that way there's a lower chance you're gonna you're gonna run out of materials 
This, this, this does not change the chance uh, oh, that you forgot something. You forgot something critically important. But um, we need titanium. Hang on, if I have 50 smelters, I need 100 sorters. And I only have exactly 100. Can I get uh, another 100? Okay. Uh, we will dump the brick back in the brick box. Cool. That's giving me a few inventory slots. That's all we're going to take uh, in the way of blank inventory. We're actually going to stop and grab a bit of fuel. Uh, top ourselves right the way up. Take extra fuel and dump it back in there. And that's better. Alright, that's as good as we're going to get. Alright, so back out to planetary view. We set north. It is literally on the other side of the sun. 1.7 AU. Okay. Unreachable. Requires drive engine 2. I have drive engine 2, don't I? I bet I'll. No! Alright, we need drive engine 2. Turns out I missed an important critical research. Uh, you guys are stacking up. You guys are stacking up. What? Lack of item. It's 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 in my inventory. Oh. oh. It's trying to put it down with the sword is attached, which obviously I don't have. Oh okay. Alright, well, side note, that cleaned off, uh, cleared up another slot in our inventory. Alright, so we need to wait 50 seconds, and then we're gonna, we can fly into planetary. I just found a rock, and it's annoying. Because I've, I've, I've strip mined a large portion of the map. Like, there are no trees, there are no rocks. Um, oil area is definitely done. Yeah, there's been some strip mining going on. There we go! Alright, that's the critical research we needed. So, you can now sell. Double press space to lift off, hold arrow, uh, arrow keys with space with space in flight mode which will activate sail mode at a certain altitude okay so double check uh it is still on the other side of the system all right and that is up and to our right i think that's it right there so once sent to flight mode spacebar again to take off and then as we accelerate by holding shift we're going to burn through some fuel. Um, well, through our battery. And you do not want to burn all of it because you need to either slow down or steer at the other end. What is that? Open and 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 chai. That's very bright. That's a blue giant. Uh, it's not even a blue giant that's close to us. Uh, now I don't know where my home system system is. There are just too many stars. Okay. Uh, that's a home system. Okay, which is not marked for some reason. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, all right. We need to... Easiest way to line up for your destination is hold the W button. Okay. Uh, hold the W button. It shouldn't really use any fuel. It'll use a little bit. Uh, but you should be burning fuel or automatically recharging at a faster rate than what you're using to make sure that you're constantly aimed forward. And then, like I said, shift to accelerate. And you just want to hit the planet pretty much. Uh, crater in the middle of the planet is perfect. Um, you, you can try for a superhero landing in a, in a later attempt. First attempt, just hit the planet face on. That's perfectly fine. Kill power. Or I'm done. Okay, we are at our new planet. Our new planet has lots of titanium. Uh, we have titanium, so we have 10 million total, which is 1 million, 1.5 million. Whoa, this is where we want to go. All right, uh, we will fly. Even though it's maybe a mistake, and it's going to use all my available fuel. But we'll fly anyway, because it's a long way to walk. Right, I want to set up a roughly here somewhere. I think. This was the right spot. Nope. 
this is the right spot. Alright, so we need to set up, you know, like a couple of miners and a couple of belts and a couple of smelters. So, uh, yeah, let me just do that real quick. I present to you Offworld Industries. So, what have we done? Well, I went and set up just a tiny bit of smelting. Uh, we're hitting up this patch into two lanes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, well... Uh, Jaded can't count, big surprise. Yeah, six and six lots of smelters. So we're hitting up this patch. We're splitting it to two lanes of titanium. We're also hitting up this patch, splitting it to two lines of titanium. Hitting up that patch. Yeah, that patch, hitting uh, another two lines of titanium. Uh, also hit this patch into, well, okay, maybe I forgot a belt. You can join under that belt, and then we'll bring... Fine. Uh, that patch, two lanes, that patch, two lanes, like every single patch I could find. We just split it into two lanes, and at the moment, just throwing it into boxes. Now, what did I not bring enough of? Well... Turns out it didn't bring nearly enough smelters. Okay, had to handcraft a heap of smelters whilst I was here. I also didn't bring enough power poles because although I used the wind turbines as power poles everywhere possible, it was not enough. Um, there are still definitely awkward spots where you can't get two wind turbines close enough to one another where I actually need to use a real power pole. Um, actually, right here would be a prime example, I bet. Yeah, I can't. I can't get a wind turbine. Well, lack of item. Okay, lack of item. Help. But yeah, I can't get a wind turbine in here to power up that one sorter, so I had to use a real power pole. Uh, so with all that said, oh, and fuel. I didn't bring nearly enough fuel. Uh, if we open this one, um, well, I've already had to dump my reserve fuel in there. So yeah, I didn't bring enough. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is I want to open that storage box. I want to dump everything there. The only thing I want to bring back with me is my wireless power towers. Uh, we want to fill up our inventory with as much titanium as possible, and then... I think I've left it just a little bit too long. No, if that's the sun, I'm looking that way. I am looking that way, right? Hang on, face that way. If that's the sun, it's literally right above our head. So if we waited to rotate around, it would be a straight shot. Uh, above our head. Oh face north as well. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's face north. Uh, I believe that's north. North, south. It's one of the two. Maybe that's south. Uh, I still feel like I'm facing the wrong way. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, uh, actually, one other thing I do want to cover is, yeah, I spent a bit of time, well, yeah, smelting everything. Uh, we also grab some iron whilst we're here. At the same time, if we zoom out and I turn on this overlay, I've dumped down wind turbines. Uh, I've literally dumped down wind turbines to every single patch of ore on the planet. So when we come back and we colonize the other patches, because I went with this really dense area here first, but when we come back for stone, copper, more stone, more titanium, iron, everything else, there's going to be power locally to everything. There's also, we're producing 150 megawatts worth of power. So power shouldn't be a problem here, but we're going to need power for future projects. Uh, oh, hang on. No, I'd have to go from the dark side planet. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's just do a flight around the planet looking for a home system because it's a lot easier if you can launch and see where you're going rather than having to get out to space, space first and then having to find out where your target is. Uh, although maybe it won't show up. Nope, that's a whole different star. I'm worried about how much fuel this is using because I, I, I don't have any... Um, we're, we're running on the reserves. I brought a full pack of fuel to help me get home. Aha! That's where we want to go. Uh, okay, so we're going to lift off. Uh, and then what we do is we hold forward at all times. As I said, it's going to help you target the thing that you want to go to. 
and then accelerate up to speed and now nah, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna come in for the full superhero landing definitely definitely we've got this this time around full superhero landing it is uh and yeah just mm, aim aim the direction you want to go hold the forward button and oh well let's go for the north pole because i know i've built close to the north pole because then we have to find the base because i don't have a lot of power uh right there yeah superhero landing it was okay so now that we're home we'll turn off that overlay uh, and I have plenty of titanium with me. We need to obviously run over here. So I have somewhere to dump the titanium. Pick up some basic resources to get some basic construction done. And uh, go through the process of setting up everything else. Okay, that is definitely very full. Oh, that's yeah, definitely very full. All right, we're going to need... Uh, I'm going to need some belts. Uh, we're going to need some assembly machines. We're going to need some tier 2 sorters. We're going to need... I don't need miners. Uh, we're going to need iron, obviously. Uh, copper, obviously. Uh, some of those, some of those, some of those. We're also going to want some glass, because the very first thing I want to craft is going to be... Uh, eight of those. The main reason is we need to do this research. This research takes eight seconds, so we're just going to dump eight labs at the problem. Next thing we're going to need is a couple of those, which require brick. Hello. Um, ten. That'll do us. Uh, Alright, so we're trying to create these, which are going to require diamonds, which just come from smelting the smelted, smelted, smelted coal, which is good because it means anybody in the future can have some really, really large diamonds very, very cheaply. Um, do note that you can burn diamonds. They're just not very effective at burning and uh, don't give a lot of fuel and are very inefficient when you burn them in the mecha. On top of that, we can get the titanium crystals. Titanium crystals are going to come from titanium, so we're going to have to take some titanium with us. What else are we going to need to take? Titanium power poles power poles before i forget uh i'll do us uh back to research uh titanium crystals titanium crystals are going to require titanium and the organic crystals so we have had this little machine working away forever and has definitely made some titanium crystals uh sure I believe some titanium in the box Alright, because I want to set up this research... Oh, you're out of magnets? You're out of magnets because you're out of iron ore because this patch is almost dead. Thank gosh. Alright, that's alright. We've got a patch over here we can tap into to get blue science back up and running. But for right now, we want to go and dump our organic crystals in here. Oh, well, that's really full. Alright. Uh, and then we want to get a couple of temporary builds now done. Uh, these are temporary. They will be removed later after we go through and get a couple more techs. And then we can actually streamline some things. So what we want to do is we want to do titanium crystals, which is going to require crystals. Conveniently enough, we have them right here now. Uh, you need an output belt, which will only take to the... Yeah, we'll take to there, and then we'll take up and above and out of the way. Uh, you're going to go away. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is titanium, which we're going to bring down. I'm going to wrap around the underneath, and we'll work out all the details later. We're going to have you no longer input, one input, one output, uh, but the outputs are marked two. We're going to go input, input. I want a storage container, lack of item. Uh, can I get a storage, mm, can I get a bigger storage, no, can I get a little storage container please, alright, uh, and then you want a production output, alright, and then in theory, one, two, three, oh, we can just fit four, perfect, alright, uh, storage container right there, you sir are going to output all the titanium, we're going to dump in some power poles, and with that done, if I just grab, I don't know, 
put one of those in my hand. So then I can do a single one of those that hasn't been copied and pasted. We should... Actually, let's place these first because we're dealing with uh, ever-narrowing grid lines and fault lines everywhere. So we might do this set manually. Uh, okay, hopefully that works. All right, we want to do paste, 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 paste. Plus we want to do a input, 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 uh, input, and input, a power pole there, yes, and then out, uh, yeah, sure, you can squeeze in somewhere, somewhere, and somewhere, alright, so that's material number one, material number two is conveniently right here, we're going to do one with a output belt, right there, you're going to be making diamonds, with an input and output. Uh, copy, one, two, three, four. Power pole there, power pole there. And with those two items, it should be a case of let's pop down eight labs and we should be done. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, one tall gap, three, four. Uh, we'll bring that belt down to ground level and the front. And you know what? We will take this belt around the rear. So I can do two belts there and then go up a tile and in, 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 and in. It's probably not an issue now we're using Sorters Mark II, but you know, uh, we're going to set you to that and you to that. And with that and that done, we should have some yellow science. Uh, can I... Okay, can I bring you down to ground level? Use one of those storage containers we made earlier. Have you have an... Nope. Have you come hard up against that power pole? Yes, it's a power pole. Uh, then up to there, and then we'll put a storage box hard up against that power pole, so I don't have to waste normal power poles. We'll have a slow in and a fast out, because that's how we do our buffers. Uh, we'll take you down to ground level, and slide you in the back, because I'll reach around the rear. Uh, and with that and that done, that should start science running. We need... This is the research we really need, okay? This one, the interstellar logistics system, super, 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 super important because um, that'll let us transfer materials between planets, which means we can bring our titanium here directly rather than us having to fly across and hopefully not get lost in intergalactic space and, 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 and bring it in. But that has a prerequisite of high strength titanium alloys. So we're gonna do that research and that research which means we need 200 packs. They're going to be the first two researchers we have to get. Uh, same time... Okay, so that should get that done. That should get that done. The labs... You have diamond, but you don't have this. Because the titanium's not getting out fast enough. Let's try two sorters. For twice the throughput. Uh, we're definitely going to run out of organic crystals. In fact... We're going to run out of organic crystals, probably, and oil. Why are you not running? Why are you not running? Because uh, it turns out there's a slightly important belt right here. You were running. Well, you had 20 in there. Cool. Uh, how's that going? We have 300. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when a system breaks and you don't realize it for, like, several hours. I think everything else has an output belt? Yes. Okay, hopefully that fixes that problem. How much hydrogen's in here? A good bit. Cool. Alright, so, that done, that done, that done. Uh, you guys are making those. Titanium crystals are the thing we're short on which is going to die because of those. Honestly, I can see it right now. Uh, I, I, I do not think we have... How many? 
How long do they take to craft? Four seconds. And we have eight of them. No, we should be able to run all those labs with some spit. We can run all those labs. Okay. Can I get some labs, please? Uh, what is our lab upgrade height? Our lab upgrade height is seven. Well, if I double it, it's sort of like seven, right? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, nope, that's it. And I have one lab hanging around. Okay. Can I feed material up that high? Organic crystal says no. Organic crystal is being fed in the first one. That still says three. Seven. No, it's definitely counting up. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, all these guys are huffing and puffing and, and squishing and squashing. So we'll call those a success. With that said, um, next episode, definitely next episode... We need to work on the planetary logistics. Now, they do require a number of items. Uh, one of them is going to be steel. That should be easy. One of them is going to be required titanium. We have a bunch of that in a box. Next one is going to be processes. Processes require silicon. Well, processes require microcrystalline component. To me, that looks like transistors. Um, which we have a little bit of silicon. Uh, a little bit of silicon. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all we've managed to find from converting rocks or finding silicon in rocks. In saying that, I did set up a small backup production from this stone patch. Um, just converting it into silicon ore with the horrible ratio to fit into one smelter to fit into one box. Because I figured we're going to need some of this stuff sooner or later. So, yeah. So silicon, we are okay on right now. On top of that, what was the other thing we needed? Uh, we needed weird pink particle container systems, which I think we have the parts for, but we're all going to find out in the next episode. With all that said, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, if you liked the video, do me a favor, click the like button. If you didn't like the video, do me a favor, click the like button anyway, helps the YouTube algorithm out. If you're new here, by all means, click that subscribe button, because next episode, we're going to be going over to that little planet there. We're going to be going over there and grabbing all that silicon. Anyway, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.